Last week in art class, we did the first stages of creating our snowman winter landscape. We did a blended chalk background and we added um, ripped white paper for snow at the bottom. Today we're going to finish off the project and do the second stage. We need to add the snowman. So the first thing we're going to do before we um, do our snowman on our final design is we like to do practices. So anytime we're working on something, it's always a good idea to do a practice design first. So the first thing you're going to do is on this page, it says snowman drawing practice shapes and details. And we're going to do just that. Here's an example of what a snowman looks like. I'm going to practice drawing because I'm going to be drawing each one of my shapes of my snowman. I'm going to start with the largest circle, a middle, and then smaller as I go. Um, I'm also going to practice with the design and the details. I'm going to practice drawing a hat the way that I would draw a hat. I'm going to do all of this in pencil to begin and then at your table you'll notice that you have um, a variety of oil pastels and colored sharpies. What you can do then is you can go outline the hat because you'll be drawing your own hat um, on a piece of black construction paper and then I can go ahead and do all of the details and the colors that would be appropriate for a snowman. So a snowman's eyes are black and the smile is also a series of black dots and then I'm going to do buttons that are also black. They're a little bit bigger than the dots that I did before. Then I'm going to switch colors and move on to orange and I'm going to do a snowman's nose. When I draw the snowman's nose, it's like a triangle. It might be easier if you turn your paper sideways, make your triangle, and there you have the triangle shaped carrot nose. My snowman's arms are going to be brown with the brown oil pastel. So along the middle size, the medium size circle, I'm going to draw a line and a line and those make these stick arms. And then I'm going to add a scarf. You're going to be able to come up to the um, teacher table and choose from a variety of colored Sharpies. I'm going to do a purple scarf. You can do any color you choose. What I'm going to do is draw a thick line, kind of like a rectangle in between the medium and smaller circle and shade it in. Then I'm going to draw another line coming down and another line shape, a uh, rectangular shape coming across. I'm going to shade those in as well. Now I'm going to add some detail on the scarf. Detail is when you do added extra designs that adds to what you have drawn. I'm going to draw one, two, three, four little lines for the scarf. And then I'm just about ready to begin on my final design, but I may want to practice my snowflakes first. You're going to draw your actual snowflakes with um, oil pastel, but it's not going to show up on here. So I can either choose to do white dots for my snowflakes, or if I want, I can do like a T and then an X and you can either draw little lines like that on it if you want or you could draw little circles on the ends as well. Once I've practiced my snowman and I feel comfortable with it, I'm going to get my final paper. Now my final paper is going to be construction paper. What I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to draw the shapes, cut them out and glue them on here. So the first shape I'm going to draw my circles, I'm going to draw them separate because I'm going to cut out each shape separately and glue them onto my paper. So what I'm going to do is draw my three shapes. It does not need to be perfect. When you go out to make a snowman in the snow, it is never a perfect circle, ever, ever. So you're going to make your snowman shape. You're going to cut your first one out. If you have pencil lines that are showing, it's a good idea, like this, to put the glue on this side. That way, when you put it down on your paper, your pencil lines won't show. I'm going to cut out each of my shapes, glue them onto my snowman or onto my paper. You want to make sure that they're large enough for the size of your paper. Just glue on each of those. Glue them down. Once all three of your shapes have been glued down, then you're going to get a small piece of black paper that's going to be your hat. You're going to want to take a look at the size and draw your hat. Everybody's hat might be a little bit of a different size and that's okay. That what, that's what makes our artwork individual and unique. And again, the pencil lines really show on the black construction paper. So what you're going to want to make sure you do is place the glue on the side that the pencil is showing. You can see the pencil showing, so I put my glue on this side. That way when I glue it down, it no longer shows. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and use all of these things and add the same details 
that I did on my practice design. The only difference is at the very end I'll be using a white oil pastel to add the snowflakes into the background. I do want to be careful and try not to have my hand smudge too much into my chalk because it will get onto my snowman. If it get a little bit gets on, we're not going to worry about it, but it will get on. And then the last thing I'm going to need to do is put my name on my artwork. I always autograph my artwork down in the bottom corner. I write my name large enough to see, but not so large because I want my focus to be on my snowman, not on my name, but I will put my name with a black Sharpie in the bottom corner. And then your snowman design winter scene will be complete.